Hello everyone and welcome to this. What is this? It's a special. It's Kirby's Dreamland, the very first Kirby game ever to be made. Ever made. And if you look at it closely, you can see now that this is where um, Kirby Superstar the Spring Breeze came from. The only thing you can do here is spit enemies, swallow them, Yep, this is the very first Kirby game ever made. It's for the Game Boy Pocket. <coughs> you cannot copy abilities. I decided to do this because I've played through Kirby Superstar Spring Breeze and I wanted to show you guys what the original game was. This is one of the games I played when I was little. It's from 1992 and I was born in 1993. So it was actually before I was born, it was made. Now this game is a bit larger than uh, and longer than Kirby Superstar, then the Spring Breeze, ouch. It's, actually, it's also uh, harder, because here you can't uh, use the copy ability. And yeah, it's just... And here we uh, are not here yet. If you double swallow an enemy, it's just a regular star. Here we have the very first maximum tomato. I, uh, I always thought it was a badge, but now I see in the later Kirby games, I know it's a tomato. But I never thought it was a tomato. And if you go down here, I thought there was a bottle thing. And now we have the awesome boss music. And here we have Wispy Woods. Now you actually need the apples. Now he's dead. Castle Lolo. This level wasn't in the original Kirby, wasn't in the Kirby Superstar. And here you have Mike. It's one of the few power-ups you do have in this game. Ouch. Here you have a bomb which causes from massive explosion. Go away, you. Ouch. Here you have Gordo. If you are hit by Gordo or any of the spikes, you will take more damage. Underwater, you're basically, you can't do anything. And there is the very first Invincible Candy. With the original music from it. You can swallow those things, yet, so you have to either spit them or... And here we have uh, the sub-boss.
And here we have the next power up, which is this fireball thing. It lets you shoot non stop fireballs. And if you do that, the maximum tomato appears. And here's the final room before the boss. Oh no, the second final room. This is just a maze. You need to uh, open the doors. That was really close. Here's the final room before the boss. The bosses are really tougher in this game. Oh crap, not gonna happen. Wow! Ouch. And now Lalala's dead. And now he's dead too. Here's Float Island with which they stew in uh, Kirby's a uh, superstar. What they did, they was they uh, copied stage one and stage. Uh, no, they copied stage two and three and put them together to make uh, one new stage. Ah, flying. Here we have Mike again. Now you know how Kirby all started. Oh, that was lucky, because spikes really hurt. Ouch. Here is this room, which also is longer here. And here you have a one-up. Ouch. Whoosh. And here's the maximum tomato. This is no door. I use I always thought it was a door, but it's not. This is one of the games I grew up with. Here we have the fireball power again. Whoosh. Here we can find another life, if I'm correct. And I am. Notice that when the moment you hit the water the power is gone. So it's probably uh, the firepower. Now we have the star. Which will shoot us all the way here. To this whale. This whale will move us right up here. 
and we're all the way in the clouds. Now, the moment you grab this, you float and you have infinite power. And here's also a boss we didn't see in Spring Breeze. Ouch, and it hit me. It's a um, Cabula. Capula, you will see Capula later in uh, in the Dreamstar uh, in the exclusive DS content. And here we have Bubbly Clouds, level four. Ouch! Ouch. Now you will see those things. They will explode if you hit them and you cannot suck them. These things are new. Or actually these are old but you won't be seeing them again. Here we have the parasol. And here we have the debut of Sir Kibble, who will give us cuts in the later games. Ouch. Ow, and I'm really sucking. And now I'm dead. You see how hard this game is? I actually died. In And now see what happens when you try to suck them and eh, stop hurting me. And this game doesn't uh, have safe states or anything like that. On the regular Game Boy, so you just need to play it through in one time. Here's nothing. This would be an awesome place for a secret, but it's not. And here is the Gordo Stairs. Now we will fight the mini boss. Ouch. That was really close. This isn't that hard. This mini boss really easy. You just need to figure it's better. Then it goes there again. And notice the eye. He went away. He escaped. And here we have this thing again. And here we have this room. Remember this room? Ouch. Ah, oh, I want full heal, why not? And we, here we have the firebomb power again. Ouch. And I'm really sucking at this room. Damn. Now I only have half my lives for the boss.
Here we actually see a pumped up Krako. Ouch. Ah, he dodged it. Oh no, I only have one life left. Oh, one life versus one life, what will he do next? And I beat him! Yay! And that was Krako! And this music is really awesome! And notice that just instead of the boss, you will have this room! And this is it for this time. Next time I will finish this really short let's play um, yeah next time I will do that so see you all then bye